Hey, what's up, everybody? It is your girl JoJo, and I'm here with the review for uh, Make a Move Season 1, Episode 12. Uh, I am in the midst of heading back home, so you're going to hear some music in the background. You might hear some people. You might hear some rude people who like to play their phone out loud as if I want to hear what they got going on. But I did try to find my own cozy corner so we could talk about the foolishness that happened on Friday night. We're not even going to be here long because I didn't really feel like this was worth an hour-long show. And Own didn't feel like it was worth an hour-long show because about 20 minutes in, I realized that we were at the end of the actual show and they rolled right into the reunion. So even Own felt the same way that we did. So I'm not sure why they really bothered, but let's get into what happened on the show. Okay, so we actually started out with Sharice and Maurice, and the ladies need to decide whether or not they are going to make a move for these gentlemen. Now, somebody posted in the comments the premise of the show, and like I thought, the premise of the show was for the ladies to see if they could possibly make a move. So I am confusion about all of the other things that have gone on, like with, I don't know if I want to, and I wonder if he would move towards me. I'm confused by that. Anyway, so Sharice and Maurice go first. Sharice still has her concerns about being in a long distance relationship because there are times where things will start out good. And then two to three months later, somebody asks, what are we doing? Somebody needs to move. Um, I think those things probably do happen in a long distance relationship. Maurice lets her know, you can't punish me for something that somebody did in the past. And that is true, uh, which is why I will continue to say, Sharice, if you've had problems with long distance relationships in the past, and you're hesitant to do them again, then I would probably recommend that you stop dating long distance. I mean, that's the only way to really solve that issue because there's always going to be a point in time where you're probably going to have to decide how are we going to move closer to each other because this may not be something that we are able to maintain. So I guess we will see what happens. Maybe Maurice is a different kind of gentleman that can maintain distance. It wouldn't surprise me if he was <laughs> because of how laid back Maurice has been this entire process. But I actually think these two are a good match together. And um, we'll see at the second part of the reunion if they are still together. I actually forgot to add that while Maurice and Sharice were talking, Ashley was trying to listen at the door. She was trying to listen for everybody. And I'm just thinking to myself, girl, worry about you really need to worry about yourself. Um, and while we're doing that, let's segue into these finale outfits. I wasn't really feeling anybody's fit all that much. Um, but Vernicia and Ashley were my biggest no's. They were my biggest no's. Vernicia dresses too young. She dresses too young. I, I hate it. I hate it. She does not dress like a 40-something year old woman, in my opinion. And just because you have a nice body, just it doesn't mean that everything is for you right. Um, but I, I didn't like what she had on. I wanted I wanted her boobs to be nothing wrong with the plunge i just didn't like the cut of it on her her breast um it just looks like something a young girl would wear to a, a party the only thing is a good young girls would be you know above the knee that's the only difference but that same that same party cut okay that's what i would have worn back in the day um you know that would have been a new year's fit <laughs> would have been a new year's fit back in the day but shorter you know i just oh god anyway um ashley's was giving figure skating i didn't like it i didn't like the way it fit on her it was it was too i just didn't like it i didn't like it i, I barely remember what zadia had on but i think it was okay and i think sharice you know the leopard print that was that was safe that was safe. Oh, I'm looking at Zadia's picture right now. Yeah, it was okay. You know, she like, <laughs> she was giving glam with the gloves. But um, yeah, the other two, mm -mm. but moving on. So next we have Renisha and Tabari. I'm going to need more. Um, Renisha decided not to go with Tabari. She said that when they're together, they're good. When they're not together, the communication is not right. She's given Tabari more than enough time to show her something else he hasn't shown her. And Vernisha, y'all know Vernisha's normally like teary-eyed and struggling to make her decisions. It, it was none of that. So I'm going to need to know a little bit more. Um, 
as much as I didn't want a reunion because I just don't feel like this show has solidified itself enough to have one, I would like to know what went on with Vernicia and Tabari because I was confused. One, Tabari seemed to be very hurt while Vernicia seemed to be kind of cut and dry like I already told you this. And then Tabari brings up people putting guards around their heart and walls that you have to break down and saying that when it comes to communication, it's a two-way street. So I'm just trying to figure out, because this is nothing that we've heard Tabari mention before this, this episode. I'm trying to figure out, was Vernicia not communicating back with him? Was she just waiting on him always to reach out first? Um, and he wanted her to reach out first sometimes? Like, what 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 has been the conversation what has been the issue because this is my first time hearing Tabari bring it up and I want to give him the benefit of the doubt that maybe there were some other issues going on that we didn't know about however I'm going to be very upset if I find out Tabari just saying stuff in the end and they are things that he never addressed on the front end if you had an issue with Vernicia's communication style I would hope that maybe we just didn't see it and you have already said something to her about it. Do not wait until the end because now you're irritated with me and now you want to talk about my guards and my communication. You should have been brought that up if that was really an issue for you. Um, don't wait until I bring up an issue or until I'm done and now you want to bring up an issue. So I'm hoping it's not that. I'm hoping it's the other way. He had an issue. He's already brought it up and we just didn't get to see it. But the way she was talking... I mean, it just seemed like they were on two different wavelengths to me. Um, now, I do think Tabari is very, um, you know, not extra, but, you know, he, he, he demonstrates. He's very demonstrative in his actions. Um, anyway, I need to see more of Tabari and Vernice's situation. I just need more of an explanation. And then when she gets up to walk out, Tabari just sits on the couch. That's why I was like, is he being dramatic? Is this an actual thing? But all in all, I am, I'm trying to speak over the lady in the background. All in all, I am glad that she made the decision that was best for her. Um, I'm not mad at her about it. Uh, I'm sure she's going to catch a lot of slack, <laughs> but I'm glad Vernicia made the decision that was going to be best for her. So, yeah, moving on to the next. Okay, so now we have Zadia and Cam. Zadia says at the very beginning, um, she knows she doesn't like to hurt people that she cares about. And she knows if she stays with Cam and makes a move, it could hurt. And she knows if she tells him no, she doesn't want to make a move, it could hurt. And I'm just thinking to myself, hurt who? Because Cam has been over. He's okay either way this goes. I mean, he may think about you fondly every now and then for a couple of weeks, but Cam is fine with letting you go. In fact, when they get in there, he said, I told you everything so you could make an informed decision about what you wanted to do. And side note, that's saying if this goes awry, you cannot blame me. And I'm with you when you write. I'm with you when you write. And, and Cam has pretty much broken that down to her. It took him a while, but he's broken it down completely. Zadia, this is on you. When Zadia chose Cam, I knew right then that either she got a side dude already that she dealing with in D.C. Or she is okay with having a loose casual relationship with cam while she date other people because there's no other reason why she would make that decision with everything that he has told her if she thinks that making this decision is something that she's gonna do and then later on they're gonna get closer and they're gonna fall in love maybe but the chances are probably not probably not going to do so so i, I don't really know I'm interested to see as much as I didn't think I would I, like a reunion. Like I said, I, I need some closure on some of this stuff. So I'm interested to see what's going to happen with the two of them next because I just don't see it. I mean, he got his plans. He got his goals. He ain't coming up off them. You ain't coming up off it. So what? What? He barely got time to go on a date in New Orleans. He going to have time to travel. Anyway, y'all, moving on. Um, lastly, Ashley and Don, of course, Ashley gives us the theatrics and fan in and I'm so nervous. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And am I gonna choose this man? Uh, 
she chooses Donald, y'all. <laughs> we all knew what was probably about to happen. Um, I'm glad that at some point during her conversation with Don, she says, I believe we both have things that we need to work on. Yes. Emphasis on yourself. Put the emphasis on yourself because she was talking about communication and how she wants a man to make plans and take the lead and be in charge. And I listen, I understand all of that. Um, Don doesn't strike me as much of a take as as much of a take charge man. But I'm going to say this. I don't know if the two are mutually exclusive. But every take charge man that I have ever dealt with, you you can't be um, easily scathed around them. You know, I ain't saying you can't have emotions, but take charge men, they kind of, they don't really deal well <laughs> in the emotional woman. And actually is very emotional. So, you know, I, may, maybe you could get both. I ain't never seen it. <laughs> I've never seen a man who was highly in tune with my emotions and also a take charge person. Like, it's not that they out to hurt you, but in order to take charge, they just kind of be like, all right, you go, you come in, you're going to be all right. But this, this is what we doing. This is how we moving. This is what I got together. This is what I got planned. And so sometimes I really wonder if Ashley really does want that um, because she does get into her emotions very quickly. But whatever, that's who she chose. She said that it's not going to be like, them really being together she's not ready to make a move to new orleans but she is ready to make a move to continue whatever it is they have going on so i don't know i guess she gonna drive not drive she gonna take a flight out there she gonna get on the southwest and going out there <sighs> what are they doing everybody's pissing me off the show should not be called ready to make a move the show should be called catch a flight book a flight itinerary it should be called something like that because nobody's ready to make a move but everybody's ready to make a road trip i'm over it okay so then we roll straight into quite lazily might i add we roll right into the reunion um it's the same girl that has hosted the ready to love reunion before she looked different to me something about her looked different i don't know what it was can't put my finger on it but tamika is up there as well and <clears throat> I'm just going to highlight the important part of the reunion. You guys know they show a lot of clips. They show a lot of flashbacks. Um, but they move into the sisterhood and the ladies living together and the good times. But then they talk about the problems that ensued. So this started a discussion between Zadia, whose outfit I loved for the reunion, and Sharice, who was probably my second favorite outfit. Ashley and Vernicia were both a no. I just couldn't, I didn't like it. But that's not what we were talking about. We're talking about the conversation that ensued between the two of them. I did not go word for word because the argument was stupid. But I will tell you, the host was spot on when she said they had a lot of similarities and they are seeing the mirror reflection of each other looking, you know, looking back at one another because they are so similar. And that might be why they bump heads. She was right with that one. They do have a lot of similarities, but the way that they carry themselves is a little bit different. Um, I feel like Zadia tries to play off a lot of her stuff as jokes, some of her more shady ways. And Cherise, she's just a hot button. Like she doesn't know how to take anything at a, at a level one or a level two. She takes it to a level 10 every single time. So when they're talking and they bring up the situation that happened at the house where Zadia was not at the house and, um, Cherise had put her on blast in front of Tamika, um, <laughs> Zadia was just like, my problem is you did not come to me because you had a problem. You came and you tried to blast me. I really wish Sharice would just admit it. She, she did. She did want to blast Zadia and Zadia, I need to, you to admit that you lied because you wanted to save face. You didn't want Sharice to be the one to have the, the one up. So you went ahead and just lied in front of Tamika and everybody else so that you could save face. So Tamika has a problem that she has been lied to. Okay, that's fine. But the real issue was, yes, I do believe Sharice didn't like Zadia. I do believe she was trying to call her out in front of everyone. And Zadia, I do believe you lied to try to save face. I also believe you was effing with Sharice when you brought up LJ. You knew that was going to set that girl off. So if both of us could just, both of them could just admit, 
you know what? Yeah, I did it. And just say, I don't really like you. <laughs> I don't really care for you. And that's why I was doing the stuff that I was doing. We probably will never be cool. We just bump heads in that way. Then Sharice goes into, and this is the only time that I'm okay with Ashley being extra. Sharice goes into, I fell to tact in the kitchen. I felt like you guys left me out of a lot of things. All of this. Then the host going to try to say, I feel like you were picked on a lot as a little girl. Listen. We not little girls no more, <laughs> number one. And number two, it, again, you waited until that moment to tell everybody that you felt attacked and you felt left out. When we just watched Ashley try to support you on the stage, I wish she would have minded her business because, you know, we don't need you petting all over nobody. She's going to be all right. But I was just like, see, you doing it again. I don't even think she recognizes that she's doing the exact same thing. You didn't come to them and say you felt left out. You didn't come to them and say that you didn't feel like it was a sisterhood. And I know you didn't because they wouldn't have reacted that way if that was something that you would have told them before. So Ashley was like, uh-uh, Sharice, I'm not accepting that. I have always treated you well. Vernicia said, I told both of y'all y'all was wrong. Um, I don't know. I just feel like Sharice was doing more here than necessary. And Zadia, I feel like you wasn't keeping it real because, girl, you was lying. You was lying. You ain't want nobody to look at you like how they was looking at you. You said y'all sat out in the car all night and uh, talked. That might be true. But you know what we think. <laughs> so, and don't, don't, I'm a grown woman it because a grown woman wouldn't have lied about it. So anyway, um, that part was silly. These two are never going to get along. I do think Sharice does have some deep rooted issues, but my only issue with anything that Sharice has ever done, I don't ever feel like she was necessarily wrong with being irritated with Zadia. I always will say I did not think that she handled the conversation well. She said she blasted Zadia because Tamika asked a question. She said that's why she did it. So I guess. But what about what you just did on stage? <laughs> And uh, that's the only time I felt like Ashley was warranted in saying what she said to Sharice, because don't sit here and try to make me something that I was not, because I have tried to be kind to everybody. And I think Vernicia felt the same. So anyway, y'all, um, on the next part of the reunion, they're going to have the fellas up there. And I think that's when we're finally going to get more answers to questions. I'm very interested to see. What did you guys think about the show? Do you think it's something that should come back on? I don't think so. I'm okay with not seeing this happen again, especially if ain't nobody making no moves. No way. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all for the next one. Bye.